You might be running into this specific issue on your iPhone, or for some reason you keep getting this, your account has been disabled in the App Store and iTunes. Now, the reason why you're getting this error, it can be a ton of things. It can be that you forgot to pay a bill. It could be that there's a billing issue. It could be a ton of different things. Maybe you tried too many times to log in. So the very first thing that I would recommend you to think about is, did you recently do anything like that? Has there recently been any disruptions or issues or anything like that at all? So that's the first thing I'd recommend doing. Now, if you can't think of anything, the very next thing I'd recommend doing is going through into your settings, going and clicking up your name at the top, and just going through here, if it prompts you to log in, just go ahead and log in with your password. Now, if you forgot the password, then you'll have to reset it. But go ahead and log in with your password, and then what you want to do here is you want to go ahead and click on Payment and Shipping, and you just want to go ahead and make sure everything looks right. As long as everything looks right, you'll be fine. You can also go back into your previous panel and you can check these other panels too. You can even go into media and purchases and see if you can view accounts, see if there's any issues. Like you just want to see if there's anything that sticks out to you that there's been an issue of some sort. Now, if that doesn't seem to be an issue, the next thing I'd recommend doing is trying to see if there's an update available for your phone. So if you've already went through the you know first couple of things that have just happened, go and click on your iPhone, click on general settings, click on software update, and just go ahead and update your iPhone. As you can see, there's an update available for me and also upgrade to iOS 16. So go ahead and update your phone. And that is another thing you can do as well to potentially fix this issue. Again, it's not a guarantee, but it is another thing you can try doing in this specific example. Now, let's say that doesn't work either. Well, then finally, what I would recommend doing is contacting Apple support and asking them what's going on with your account. So what you can do and what I did is go into App Store Account Disabled, just go and type that in on Google. The very first option here is a support.apple.com, you know, article. So go and click there and it says, if you see a message that says your account has been disabled in the App Store and iTunes, it says it tells you to contact Apple support for help. So go ahead and click on that contact Apple support for help option and it's going to allow you to pretty much chat directly with Apple. So here I can go and click start a chat and it's going to prompt me straight into messages right here if I go and click open and that is it. I can go ahead and now start contacting with Apple directly from here and that is a really cool thing so I can just chat with them and ask them, hey, why is my account disabled? And that is all you have to do. It's very basic, doesn't take too much time and that's exactly how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.